Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it is August 2nd now. I had a bit of a catastrophe off camera. I'll explain that in a second. Let's just get this. There we go. Okay. This uh, field here needs to be plowed out. We're going to put grass into it. And, uh, yeah, I'll get a worker on this, but might need a lot of help. So we'll see. I got to get the other, I got to get the oats up. That's my main project for today. So, uh, if you remember from the last episode, I had bought a second silo. And it was doing some weird things where it looked like the products were in, um, I don't know, I guess it was sharing sharing storage with the uh, with the original one the second one was sharing storage with the original one and i wasn't sure i was uh, i was worried that if i sold the original silo which was the plan that i would end up losing crop well i went ahead and moved and air quotes moved all of the product from the old one to the new one uh, but they still, it still showed up in both. So, I, um, sold the, sold the first one, and, yep, I lost everything I had in there. Well, I didn't lose it. I got some money for it. Um, you know, when I sold the silo, it sold whatever was in it. The problem is, you know, besides the fact that you never get the good value when you do that uh, it's always a budget like a um, reduced price for the for the product uh, for the crops um, the problem is, is I actually need that, those crops I don't need the money so I had to do some creative work to try to figure out how to get everything square again and like an idiot, I did not record exactly how much I had b before. Um, anyways, long story short, I had to do some math. I had to do some, uh, some uh, administrative fixes uh, to get the crop back into the new, the old, the, well, the new silo and to try to fix the money. And I think I got it pretty close, but it might not be exact. I didn't track things the, the best I could, you know, so. So anyways, here we are. Uh, I did one thing, though. Well, let's get into that in a second in more detail, but I started to make my own seed. And I'm starting to realize that I can probably make money uh, if I drop down a sell point that where I can actually sell fertilizer and seed and that then I can make some decent money doing it so I think I'm gonna do that I feel like uh, I'm perpetually living in the fifteen thousand dollar range uh, without the trees anyways um, and that uh, my debt is still full I am not paid off any debt yet and I'm not getting any closer to being a millionaire so I think I need to find a way to start making a bit more money our economy is tough man all right I was gonna put a worker on this but I think I might just do it myself ah uh, no maybe I'll put a worker I want to get going with the uh, the oat harvest got the oats themselves to harvest but we also got uh, the straw afterwards so let me get a, a worker going in a second and I'll have to clean up after there's no way the worker's going to do this properly Start right about here. Yep. 
Okay, worker, do your stuff. Betty. Okay. Okay. Um Yeah, this guy this guy's least. I still have the corn header back at the uh at the shop. I gotta go pick that up. person view for a little bit. Oh, that's loud. Let's, let's not do this first person view for a bit. This is actually quite a big field. I'll get a worker on this as well. After I do a headland or two. Hard to see with the trees. everybody doing today I have to go check the status of my other fields of corn is looking great sugar beet too not sure when those are going to be ready I'll have to check on those I'm thinking of maybe doing an expansion on uh, either the cows or maybe I'll get some sheep. I just have to figure out where. I think part of that might have to do with a new piece of land. Wow, that is that's kind of loud. Why wasn't it that loud before? Yeah, we'll definitely get a worker on this. It's going to take a while. I did upgrade my trailer to uh, 8,000 liter capacity. Spent a couple of thousand bucks on that. One thing I haven't checked on lately is um, the contracts. I'll have to have a look and see. But there is if there's anything lucrative. I'd say the worker is doing pretty good. Okay. I'm at 86%. Let's come across here. We'll, uh, we'll get an unload going and then I'll get to put a worker on this. Right, I think I'll try to go as far as I can. It's actually really perfect. Oh, almost perfect. It's a good place to unload. Okay, let me go get it. Let me go get a trailer. Uh, I need a tractor. Where is it? Where's my tractors? That one's there. This one's here. Stay. I did. I did uh, deliver more water to the gardens off camera.
Oh boy. Okay, here we go. this looking awesome so six or seven two months two months so in october we'll be ready with for this and this will be two months as well oh boy october is going to be a busy month okay i'm lost i'm lost i need to make a corn maze come on there we go okay and here Uh, where's my beehive? Why can't I teleport to it? Let's speed up a bit. The grass is next month. And this is, oh boy, this is going to be ready. Oh, October is going to be busy, really busy. Extremely busy. Okay, um... I am considering that uh, idea of selling this property. I am seriously considering it. And I think what I would probably do is buy the next one over. This guy right here. Which has a crop in it. Red beet. Oh boy. Um, where's the property line on that one? Okay, so it's a red beet field, and how far away is that? It doesn't show, because it's not mine. Oh, this is ready to harvest. It might be gone by the time. That's a lot of money, though, when you think about it. Um, I would just have to... It's a long, long harvest process. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can't... I can't skip the uh the soybeans so we'll have to see where where things are at okay this appears to be done let's have a look sorry sorry trees finish this up and then I'm surprised the worker did a great job let's finish this up and then we'll uh, we'll get some grass in here we did get our first pallets of chocolate and cheese so that's pretty awesome We'll do a cell run in a bit. First, we got to get the, the real chores done. So the trailer is kind of tied up right now. Okay. That's done. Uh, yeah, more shed space. A lot more shed space. I've, uh, I've got loaded the adaptable triggers. Um... These built, whoops, these buildings here, that building and the building below, I feel could be good uh, targets for that. So I'll have to see how they, I, I've never actually used them, so I don't know if I, how they, uh, how the triggers work. Like, does the land have to be flat and all that stuff? But maybe one of those could be. I don't know. Maybe one of those could be a, a bakery. Flour mill. That'd be interesting. Okay. 
Um, what do I need next? I need, uh, I need fertilizer. But let's get this drilled first. Okay. Long grass. And we will get a worker on this as well. Come on, up you go. The grass, if it goes up here, is not that big of a deal. Well, assuming you can get it drilled in, but. Whoa, a little too harsh on that turn. Okay. Uh, worker, where shall we start? Let's start right here. Off you go. Okay, I got Betty again. That's good. She did a good job last time. Uh, fence. Full green tank. Okay, so this trailer will take three loads. Uh, I guess I could use this guy to start gathering the straw. Keep him busy. Everybody's working. And we're going to have a lot of straw, uh, especially after the, these two harvests that we just did. I'm going to try something. I'm going to deliver this uh, one load of this to the um, the uh, farm products production. And apparently this and slurry makes manure. So uh, slurry seems to be coming faster than manure right now. So well, no, we'll play around with the, with the production, see what it does. Oh. Come on. Oh, we're full. We're full. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna have a ton of straw.
Uh, okay, so I want to put this into this production over here. Oh, I hope I can turn around here. Oops. Okay, that's unloading. I want to show you what I mean. So, apparently straw and slurry will make manure. We are starting to gather uh, some of this. So, slurry's coming faster, so I have some. So I'm going to activate that. And I should be creating manure, but also using manure, which is kind of confusing, but eh, we'll see. And I think I'm going to put one load of uh, oats in here uh, to create more seed. So I'm going to do that. Let's start from this side. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think it's a good idea. So, come October, we're going to harvest uh, that field uh, with soybean, and we'll get the grass out of there. We'll sell the bee beehive, put one somewhere else, and then we're going to sell that property and buy another one that's got some trees on it and get a little bit back into that lumber game again. A lot of work, but it's uh, it's worth it. Oh, that's close. Close to the water. Getting the back wheels wet. Is finished so I'm gonna deliver this load into the silo and we'll clean up clean up the grass field oh, and we're full we do have quite a bit in here already so I guess I'll have to figure out what I can do with straw I mean I can sell it but We have a look. Oops, sorry, I still got the speed up on. Uh, we've got 61,000 liters of straw. So I could look into a fermenting silo that does uh, silage from straw. That would be a good money maker. I'm looking for ways to speed up, speed up the income. Oh, this is nowhere near done. Betty has let me down. I don't know why they miss like a just a strip like that. Okay, let's see if we, Betty wants to try to redeem herself here. Philip's taking over. All right, whatever. I am going to need to move the 
It looks like it's full. I'm going to need to move that water trailer. It's going to be a problem for a worker. I'm going to do that right away. Might as well deliver it. Oops, that does not keep unloading. Okay, that's empty. Grab up these oats. Now, what do I want to do with this? Let's see what the price on oats is like. Need some income. Uh, I have a lot of stuff, don't I? Hmm. What about oats? Uh, four thirty-six is the best price at Scrub Andresia, which is all the way at the top. 640 it's kind of really low so i think i'm going to hold off on making seed i'm going to put this in the silo and then we'll, we'll figure out what to do with it later i think oats peak price is december if i remember correctly the pig just lying down is it dead that a dead pig? No, uh, it's just relaxing in the sun. All right. Of course. Always do that, don't I? Right there for now. Oh no, seriously? Got too much stuff going on here. Funny how the, the plow was not a problem. Franz. Let's see if Franz can do a good job. Alright, this needs to go back to the field. The other one needs to continue picking up straw. Working day on the farm. I do like the traditional harvest um, process as opposed to, you know, just riding a lot of productions and stuff like that. Uh, we are getting into quite a few productions, but. This is kind of my favorite part. I'm looking forward to doing the corn. I'm looking forward to doing the sugar beet. I 
Now I never did figure out that thing about um, using the open air garden with fertilizer and seed, how the number of cycles seems to be so much lower than without. So I'm very confused. I'm hoping that there was a, like a typo there or something. We're going to get on that real soon. We've got 13,600. I feel like I need to sell some stuff. I'm going to sell stuff at low, low prices. Uh, there's going to be some crop destruction, so let's take over for a minute. Fence isn't really very far, far away. I'm surprised the worker didn't have problems. Okay, and Betty's on this now. All right, maybe she's better at that. Uh, is this actually done? No, new. No. See if I can get that little piece up here. Did I get it? Close enough. Okay, what did I miss down here? There's a section here missed. It's really hard to see in the shade. I think it looks good though. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, let's turn that off for now. But we've got to get this guy here. We're going to go and fertilize that field. set up another beehive but if I do it's going to take up a lot of my money so but you know I don't know I find I, I find that bees and honey is easy mode it's about as easy as it gets you just buy the thing and then forever it produces something and I want to say for free not quite free but All right. I think we're almost done with the oat harvest. Fertilized our grass. 
will be all set. Okay, so let's try something. I think I know this is going to be a little bit of a problem, but we'll try it. Um, so in here, I have it as storing. Now I need some of this, so let me load up this guy first before I do what I'm going to do, because I might screw, screw something up. Let's go get full load here. Actually, I can totally control what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm trying to... I'm trying to be lazy. But let's load this up anyway. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so I got a full load of fertilizer. Very happy with that. Probably have some contracts we can do. I don't know about fertilizing, though, know, this time of year. So what I'm gonna what I need to do, I need the trailer to do it though. So I'm I'll show you from here. That's probably a better idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try seeds and solid fertilizer for some of these crops. And I wanna see how um how fast or slow this works. So what am I constantly missing? I'm missing tomatoes and grapes. They're being used really fast by this production compared to what I'm outputting. So, tomatoes and grapes. I don't know why those are the slowest. Maybe I'm making too many things. Okay. So let me turn this on. I'm going to activate that. I don't have any solid fertilizer in here yet, but I'm going to go get some seed and solid fertilizer for this. Tomatoes and grapes. Let's do that. Okay. Starting to feel that same thing that I had on No Man's Land where the productions were really integrated and this one fed that one that fed that one that you know and I'm doing that tired thing again I worked today on the property and I'm a little bagged doing uh, basically some landscaping with my tractor trying to fill a kind of not a ravine but like um, a road a drop off from a road so I'm trying to fill that up um, make it nice and level put some grass seed on it and then transplanting trees that are on the property from one place to another small trees nothing nothing big and uh, I've been running a harrows on my two gardens, two main gardens. Uh, just to try and smooth it out. We're going to be trying on the, they're pretty big gardens. Um, we're going to be trying uh, some weed fabric this year. To try to keep weeds at bay because last year was absolutely brutal with weeds.
So we'll try something new. When something's working, keep doing it. When something's not working, you try something new. Okay, looks like we're done. Did a good job, really good job. Lots of straw to pick up. So I think I'm gonna keep this this harvester leased until uh, it's paid off. At some point I'll be buying it for a dollar, right, or something. It's good. It'll it'll do fine for us for now. Not the fastest or biggest or anything like that, but it it did the job. This is a pretty fair sized field. Let's put this guy away in a nice shed or not. We'll be getting a shed soon. For now, we're gonna pretend these trees are sheds. Okay, um... Let's get this delivered. Oh, I didn't set my time. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. I'm gonna unload this, and then I'm gonna move aside, and we're gonna pick up the straw later. I'll do that off camera and I get it all into the silo and then uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it but we'll figure it out we're gonna have tons of it and then I'm gonna get working on that small project we're uh, improving our open-air garden Oh, that's not a good spot. There, that's better. And this guy can go wherever. Alright, I need the trailer. some solid fertilizer and we're going to get some seed that we produce. We're going to put, throw that into the open air garden. I could set it on distribute, but if I do that, it's going to take all of it and then I won't have any to use. I need, I need fertilizer and, and seed. So let's just grab up a bit. There's stuff in the way as usual. Now this is 8,000 capacity, so I don't want to, okay, solid fertilizer, we have 9,000, so I'm going to try to grab 4,000 of it. Oh, no. Did I dump some out? Well, that's kind of nice. That really loaded fast. Okay, we'll put this in the open air. We have seed. We'll give that a go. Actually, I need to change something. I decided to do tomatoes. So I'm going to deactivate that one and deactivate this one. We'll be using this version. 
Okay, let's swing around, get seed, and then we'll... Proceed from there. I gotta alter my trailer, and we're gonna go sell the products that we have. Seed. We got 5,000. It's gonna load super fast. I'm gonna put. Uh, what's the ratio? It's five seed, five this. Okay, so I'll put 4,000 in. I guess I can always make more seed. I have I have brains to make more seed. Uh, all right, so 4,000. Okay, close enough. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, that just changed something. Okay. We should be good here. We'll see how well this goes. Is it that it uses less water? Oh, that uses a lot of water. Yeah, I see. I'm not sure. This this worries me here. This versus, oops, tomatoes. 1536 versus 48. Okay, let's get this fixed up. I figured out my toolbox problem. It's the uh, straps on the trailer. I have to be out of range of the straps. Usually back here will do it. And I'm wrong. Oh, come on. Workshop. Uh, it's not working now. Why isn't it working? Oh boy. Um, I don't want to keep running back. There we go. You got to find a secret spot. Normal. Yeah, it's like you have to keep trying different places for it to work. Maybe I should just leave it out in the middle of the way. Whoops. Alright, let's grab our products for sale. ton of stuff. We'll sell this at the market stall. I won't even look at what the best price is. But these are the ones that are going to generate some good money, I think. That, and we've got some honey as well. See how much money we have. Maybe we'll put up the new, the new beehive. Everything's selling. Six thousand. Plus 442 bucks. Yeah, we're not getting rich anytime soon.
Okay, so... Let's take a little break. These guys are fed and have enough straw. I think it's because I have a, a 20 of the young ones in there. They're probably not producing... Oh, there's a light. Uh, they're probably not producing milk yet, and I'm probably only getting milk from 10. No manure in this one, and we've got some over here. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, we got quite a bit of eggs all of a sudden for some reason. Oh, that's a few bucks. Okay, can I pick that up? Okay, let's have a look. I'm in the shade here. It's kind of warm out. Uh, not too hot, but... Alright, what do we got here? Heck of a deal. Don't need it. Um... Okay, so... Let's have a look at... A fermenting... Okay, so these are adaptable triggers. It's 5,000... And it basically creates a bakery. These are really cheap, though, aren't they? That's interesting. Carpentry? I've never looked at these. Um, oh, cereal factory. Ooh, a cereal factory. We've got a dairy, and we've got a grain mill. We've got oil mill, and great processing plant, spinnery, all the things pretty much. Well, there is a dairy. Where is it? Where is it? I saw it. That's kind of half the price of the other one. I don't know how it works, though. Like, where's the trigger? Hang on. Let's have a look at... Let's have a look at the zone markers. Uh, dairy. Not the dairy. Okay, so you have a drop-off zone... So let's see how this could work. Where am I? I'm lost. I'm disoriented. Here we go. So if I wanted to do something here... That could work. And then another one down here. I just don't know how the... the, the I think I have to flatten stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work in a not-flat place. Okay, so that's an idea. That's not why I jumped in there, though. I jumped in there to try to find a fermenting silo that does straw. Uh, give me a sec, I'll have a look. Okay, I found one here. Franconian Buildings. This is the straw. It's 15,000, though. It's not cheap. Well, I mean, it's kind of cheap, but not for our bu our budget. So that's an option. Good old trusty Hessian fermenter silo. Used a lot. It's very common. That's 15 as well. And I trust this one. I've used it so many times. So, that's a good option. I think we're going to do that. Um, that'll do grass and straw and chaff. Okay. Yeah, I need to start making better money, so I need a, I need a solution for that. And uh, one other thing we can look at while I was here. Sheds. One sec, I want to show you the shed I'm thinking of buying. This one here. No, that's not the one I want. That's not the one I want. Hang on. One sec. This is the shed that I want. It's actually not as expensive as I thought. Is overlaps with other objects. 
but but just set it up in free mode. Let me tuck it right into the corner there. It fits like the spot almost perfectly. Right up against the house. Right up against the fence. Yeah, we can do this. So that's only 13,000. I thought it was a lot more than that. Let me make sure that's the right one, actually. It's hard to see. I wish I could see inside, you know? Pretty sure that's the one I want. Can access it from the side. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. 13,000. So, yeah, we have got to get some more money, though. So, I think the next purchase is the Hessian Fermenter. And the big question will be where, where to set it up. Um, Ted's going there. Hang on a second. Let me think about this. Maybe we'll do it right now. We have a lot of straw. Why wait? We could plop it down right here. I have to just flatten a bit or level out a little bit more. Pop it right there. Or maybe right here. That way I can still get around, turn around, get out of the way. I don't know. I gotta think about it. Or do I? Hang on. Hang on. I don't have to think about it. What does this look here? Ooh, looks really large. I put it over here. Do you know 40? I don't know. What do you think, guys? I think that's a... I think that's a slam dunk. I'm a little worried what it's going to do to the ground, but... Let's see. I think we're good. I think we're good. Nice. Okay. So. All right. So hopefully this is going to help. Um, I want to say turn the tide of our, uh, money woes. Maybe we won't have to sell that piece of land. The big one. Maybe we can keep it and start just start working towards buying another another property from the profits of this. Okay, let me go get let's do that right away. Let's get it started. Let's get this party started as they say. Ah, I gotta modify my trailer again. I know I don't. No I don't. I can use the uh, forage wagon, I think, to pick, just get straw right out of the right out of the field. All right, let's get a load. It shouldn't take very long. We'll just grab a load from here. Let's we'll pop it in there, and we'll see what what gives. Uh, silage best price is usually January, I think, on most maps anyway. If we can, we have so much straw, like we gotta use it for something, right? Perfect. too hot there. Okay. So, another production. Yet another production. So, we are going to do straw silage. So, ratio is one to one. 
They're all one to one. Okay, let's activate that. And that's 8,500 liters of silage. That should be, that should be good money. What's silage go for on this, on this map? I have not looked that up yet. Should have probably looked at that first. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. Wow, seriously? 187? That's not much. Oh. Man, our economy is brutal. Okay. This is what you're used to, right? So. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I am going to gather up the rest of the straw. I'm going to put everything that's in the field, I'm going to put it right into the fermenter. I still have a hundred thousand in the, in the, uh, hundred thousand liters in the, um, uh, side, the other silo. So I got tons of straw and we'll probably, well, I won't get any more for a while, I guess. So I guess I got to keep that in mind. Anyways, hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you have a really great day.